City Council regular meeting Tuesday, October 18, 2022, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Ron, will you lead us in prayer, please? Yes. Father, we just thank you for another day you blessed us with and just allowing us to assemble here to tonight. And uh, Father, let's pray that we put you first in all things. And at this time, I just uh, raise up this city council to you to lead God and direct in uh, the upcoming decisions for the betterment of this community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <coughs> Roll call, please. Shannon. Michael. Here. Shannon. Here. Christy. Jennifer. Here. Discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for September 2022, B, minutes of meeting held in September 2022, C, claims for the month of September 2022. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of $40,238.43 for 2015 note series monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number three, discuss and act on approval of payment to AEP, PSO in the amount of $27,878.86. Motion to approve. Second. Michael? Yes. Jana? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on retirement of canine officer Molo and presentation of plaque. I don't know if it's here yet. They were on the call. They're on the call. Well, they're coming. They're walking down. Okay. They were on the call. Yeah, they're on the call. Okay. Yeah, they were on the call. Yeah, they were on the call. Yeah, they were on the call. Okay. Well, let's move to item seven and we'll come back to this. Okay. Item seven, discuss an act to allow Police Chief Steve Norman to seek and equip a new canine officer with amount not to exceed 17,000. The reason why he's asking for the 17,000 is if you look in your packet, you already have the three bids, but he wants to seek a few more bids is what he was just explaining <coughs> to me and that's why. And he got a $2,500 grant from Walmart. Walmart gave a grant to help out. And he has 12000 in police equipment fund currently, so he's just a yeah. 3000 or less off. The disbursement from... That was my question to see if we had any uh, drug proceeds from disbursement that we could... It's, well, that's what there, the 12000 yeah, is. They're still in limbo. There's some that's still out there okay. in limbo. So uh, that should get us right there close to funding it. Uh, I know it's an unbudgeted item. <coughs> Uh, the reason for the 17000 is that there's a couple other kennels that we weren't able to get uh, quotes from, but they're all under 17. Dogs, just like everything else, are pretty there hard to is. come by. So he's asking for us to say not to exceed 17000 so he can seek other bids. <laughs> How much was you boy got him? Do you want to kind of remember that? Do you want to he was actually older than most dogs were. Well, I wonder, because as he said, I remember when we got him. We got he's him in 2016. Have, right? yeah. 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 He's nine years old, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was born in 2013, so he was about three years old when we got him, which is a little older than what yeah. you usually buy. Um, yeah. But uh, he has been a really good dog, and we can get to that portion of the form of all that. Okay, let's finish item seven, then we'll go back on that tomorrow. I'll make a motion to approve. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Okay, we'll go back to item four. Item four, discuss and act on retirement of canine officer Mallow and presentation of the plaque per Steve Norman, the police chief. Uh, Mallow, he's been really good to us. Uh, been on many tracks. You can bring him up here. He, he's been on many tracks. Uh, located lots of... <laughs> Lots of folks. He's also been involved in, uh, at one time, probably the largest seizure of methamphetamines in this county. He was part of 40, 40 kilos of methamphetamine. 43. Um, who's keeping count, right? He's also been involved in hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash seizures. 
Uh, a lot of those weren't uh, work generated by us, but he was used for those for free air sniffs of dogs. Uh, so he, he has more than paid for his own. in the middle and I'll on the side and I can keep on that side. Y'all want in this? Go right, go over this. There we go. See it. See it. I've got a big love dog. He's high energy. Hey, see it. There you go. Actually, I should be giving this to you, probably. Yeah, you should be shaking his hand and presenting it. Or are you going to give it to Molly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. That was He's great. A good boy. <laughs> I had him at my house for a while. He still scares me. <laughs> yeah, so he's a Malinois. What we're looking at is buying a shepherd. Malinois are literal land sharks. Okay. They will. They make me. Malinois make me a little more nervous than a shepherd does. Uh, well, I remember when we right, got him, yeah, all of you all were standing with hands yes. on pistols, like, oh boy. Uh, they, they are. Yeah. And as you can see, even at, at nine years old, which is fairly old for a large dog like that, he, he still has high energy. Uh, he's just ran into the same things that working dogs do, and they get hip dysplasia and other problems. So he's, he's done great work for our city, and he has a well-deserved retirement coming. So I'll make a motion to approve the retirement of uh, King Officer Malton. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Janet. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. yes. Item number five, discuss the act on declaring canine officer Malo as surplus. That's kind of sad. <laughs> <That's and>, uh, <laughs> it, it, it is, uh, and per the state statute, it's the, required. Yeah, the surplus, he's required surplus, and then uh, can be given to the canine handler. He's looking at me like, really, you're just going to throw me out like that? Or right just surplus me? So, he will probably miss going to work every day, would be my guess. Uh, make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Janet. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number six, discuss an act on adoption of canine officer Mallow to officer Theron Richards pursuant to state guidelines. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Janet. Yes. <coughs> Jennifer. Yes. We already did item seven, so now we're moving to eight. Item eight, discuss an act on approval to purchase a new vehicle for the police department. This is actually, he put it in for the budget. He got bids. Yeah, we got several bids there. Uh, they've already closed the bids for Ford. Um, I think I've understand, even though we elect to buy one, it could be months. Yeah, maybe even a year. Maybe even a year. Yeah, so they were pretty honest with me when I called. They don't want to hear us from us in a month. Calling, asking where's the vehicle at. It could be six to nine months. We told them if we were, if I was able to order, we didn't have a preference. They're only ordering white and black. And I said, if it comes that way uh, and we're able to order one, we don't care whether it's white or black. The Tahoes, though, it's just a few hundred dollars difference, have been better vehicles as far as police use than the Durangos. So which would be your preference because it's less than a thousand dollars difference? Well, I mean, I, I would I would say Tahoe because it's bigger. Um, and Durango's like are state good. Bid, what we have is state bid prices. Yeah, these most are all the, most of the prices are always close for the year, right? <laughs> Ford is Dodge is a day by day. So actually, tomorrow on any of these vehicles, you could call and try to make a a order, and they could tell you that it closed <laughs> yesterday. I know this is going to be a really stupid question. I want to ask. Yes. Why do we need a big car? Why do we need a big car? Well, um, it really comes back to what the manufacturers make that are police use, so are pursuit rated. Um, Tahoe has been a staple since probably 20, 2005. Uh, a lot of departments had Tahoes. 
I mean, you carry a lot of stuff when you got a car. So, like, if you have a charger or something and you wanted to carry five cones in every car, you know, you put five traffic cones, say, in the back of the police uh, a charger or any car for that matter. Um, some of the guys carry just different backpacks. Uh, you got everything from a less lethal gun, your department issue rifle, um, anything you might want to carry in a tote, paperwork. Alternate vest. Yeah, anything extra supplies wise. Uh, guys I was carry. I you know, I've seen, you know, we got to go trucks. I'm thinking we use new trucks. Yeah, I, and, and they've really limited, actually, 20 years ago, you could get a lot more vehicles mm -hmm. than you can from police use than you can now. I mean, at one point in time, Chevrolet was saying they're going to quit manufacturing cars altogether, period, not just police cars. Yeah. So, I mean, everything, the fact that SUVs have mm -hmm. kind of just taken over. Yeah, thank you. I agree there. I just wondered. They're just a little and uh, SUVs. A dumb <laughs> no, no, I think you're yeah, right in line with, you know, what do you need that for? Uh, some of the cars, especially when they came out with front wheel drive cars, the suspension just didn't last. They run city streets all the time and they just don't last. And now you can't pretty much find a, a front wheel drive police car anymore. So, we're going to uh, the John Vance Tahoe. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. And it, it is a four wheel drive Tahoe. Uh, that's pretty much all they have uh, ordered now. So, everything is going to all wheel drive or four wheel drive. Even the cars, even our Dodge Chargers we have, mm -hmm. they're all wheel drive. And we haven't had a big snow really since we went to all-wheel drive cars. Oh, we will. So they do offer a truck. As you can see, the truck is considerably higher than the rest of them. Uh, make a motion to be approved. Second. Discuss an act on memorandum of agreement among the United States of America and the Muscogee Creek Nation in the city of Henrietta. Creek Nation Indian Health Services is um, going to give us $317,000 towards the water tower that we need for the hill. I know you all know that they've been out a lot lately. Luckily, I live below the hill, so I haven't. I've been out, but not for as long a period of time as you all have. So we're working real hard on trying to get grants and trying to get money for that, and that's what they're offering to give us currently is 317000 towards it. Wonderful. <clears throat> I read through those. Yes. Pretty standard. Yeah. Did you agree, John? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's been in the works for a long time. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 10, discuss and act on approval of resolution number 1287, a resolution authorizing the acceptance of credit cards for the payment of Henrietta Municipal Authority, utility bills, and Henrietta Municipal Court fines and fees, and establishing the fee for cost of the transactions. <clears throat> this has been a long time coming. Yeah, since they've been working with We've got the oh, machine. We've got the machine. So we're waiting now on the um, the activation of the processing end. So hopefully not much. Longer. I feel like the, the IP addresses, addresses are signed and the card readers are in and everything. Okay. So. Standard fee. We talk about a percentage. I mean, most standard fees are three percent to three point seven five. Is that? It won't be any. None. Yeah. None. What's the fee here? It's to allow us to establish the them. fee for the cost of the transaction. Yeah, I see that, but I think that's the wording that they required us to have because when you look at the ordinance, it doesn't say that. We had this before that we're responsible for maintaining basic hardware and merchant fees. So, what we would have to pay. 
Excuse me, we, we are adopting the service fee model for the cost of processing the credit card transactions. What is it? Which is no cost. We talked about that like three or four different times. It was over there a while back. Right. And then John, he's just now getting the ordinance to it. And I'll talk to so him. we voted on it, and then John got the ordinance to go in line with what we've already. And what this says is, and establishing the fee for the cost of the transactions. And there, and and at the very end, uh, it says and adopts the service fee model. The service fee model was where there's no um, uh, monthly cost to us. Therefore, there's no need for us to charge, and so we can't profit from the, uh, well, the transaction. Most every time they run a card, the credit card company makes money by swiping for the fee. That's what. That's, that's my understanding of what that is there. Well, he wrote the ordinance. So establishing the fee for cost of the transactions is what you're talking about, the last yes. part of it. On the, <clears throat> not on the ordinance, but on the... Well, it's on here. It's yes. on the ordinance. Yes. So, well, the resolution. Right. Yeah. I mean, I believe at one point in time, as we get the state statute to pass on the fee, but I think that may have changed at this point. <coughs> Well, we had the two, um, there was a, sir, I didn't bring the um, uh, information in I think it's but included There in were the two, there was the fee model, <laughs> and there was the other proposal where we would have to set a fee. Mm -hmm. And we the problem was we that. we didn't want to profit from it, mm -hmm. and, and we didn't know what, what fee to set. And I know the fellow uh, recommended the service fee model because virtually we don't do anything. So if the city doesn't pay anything, the person using it. They oh, so we set it up where it automatically adds the fee to that card user, the credit card company? It's fee for service, so I would assume that that's what it was because that's what we talked about before, but it's been a few months. That. It's I been remember, a few months and we discussed it. I remember it voting detail. on that. Yeah. I'm just saying that, I mean. We talked about what percent, but we don't have to charge a percent. No, we we went against that, that we didn't right. want to do the one that the city would make money on or have to come up with a percent. Right. We so voted, the, we voted on this one. On the feed, and, that's like, on the, and this right. is just the ordinance I mean, to be able to allow us to do it. Or I, think, I think I remember right, the service we're using, it automatically charges <laughs> that, whenever that card is used, it automatically charges that card holder. So nobody profits. So the city didn't make any money on it, but it's only what the fee is for that service. That's what I remember. So, so <clears throat> the people that own the equipment make money, right? Well, it will be the whoever, like you have to contract with somebody, like you contract with Bank of America or somebody. Well, we need to find out for sure. Right? We need okay. to, I feel like if somebody's paying with a credit card, I go to Quick Trip, doesn't add the fee to it. Well, I don't have to tell them. You, it has to tell you. You can't. It would be uh, fraud if you didn't. It's so. so a lot of places you go at the register shows three percent or three and a half percent added for use mm -hmm. credit card use. So we need to determine that for sure because we don't want to get the liability. Of well, we we could adopt the resolution. Oh, yeah. that John. Yeah, you know, if if I might, you know, my concern was was there's there's got to be some fee for the credit card. Yeah, there always is, and, and that's what he's and saying because he you know, uses them. The thing his, was, we 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 basically are out of it. We pay for I think the equipment and something, but then we're out of the. We don't have to maintain ledgers. We don't have to do anything. But what I was concerned about is, is, and I never knew what and if a customer, if they wanted to pay a water bill, for instance, what the percent might be, or if there's an add-on, if there's a charge for using the credit card to pay for the service. Now, I think for court... I'm sure there will be. They right. wouldn't do it if but, they didn't. But I never, I mean, I could never, I have no idea. Don and I talked about this, you know, back and forth, and we could never do it. For, but for we court, can't do it without adopting the resolution. We can adopt the resolution, but I would say before right. we put it, it in effect, we need to determine for sure. Okay. 
even if you need a card, 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 It'll, It'll be, be any. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether it's credit or debit. Or For me, instance, I pay mine. It comes automatically out of my bank account. Mine is too. Where are they going to charge me on that? That is that. This That's is, electronic. Yeah, this is totally okay. different. Okay. Those are just our graphs. Okay. So if you're on that, no, there's not. Okay. But I still think we need to figure yeah. out the credit card yeah, thing. This is just the credit card. We, we had to choose one of the two. Yeah, we didn't choose to make anything. We chose the other one. So it's going to right. be whatever yeah, the credit we, card company charges them will be on them. Yeah, we had to choose one or the other. And we chose what we all believed was the better. I think it's just more that we're curious to know what it's going to be. Because we know they they're going to make some money. And Donna, have we not tried? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... But and it'll probably be whatever it is. I mean, there's probably not going to be a set amount specific. It may be, percentage, I yeah, be. if they're paying a thousand dollar court cost, yeah, I mean, it could be, or a could be fifty dollar water bill, thirty dollars. We always yeah. kind of worked with this idea for somehow or another. It came up to three percent. That's yeah. what I was saying. But that's I don't know where that came from. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> and that's what you had said before that a lot of them did three percent. Well, because. Of some of, I remember having had those in the past. It was like 2.75%, but you paid 2.75% on that percent. Yeah. So you yes. ran it to three, and it kind of washes. Anyway, I make a motion to approve number 10. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Shannon. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 11. Discuss an act to appoint Lori Enos to Henry at a library board to finish out the term of Nora Donathan, member at large, which will expire in March 2026. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. <coughs> Item 12. Discuss an act on request by Katie Thompson, McIntosh Tumbling, to use old Save a Lot parking lot on November 12, 2022, to do a food drive in Henrietta to fill baskets for Thanksgiving. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item 13. Discuss an act on request by Mike Doak, Henrietta Historical Society, to waive deposit and rental fees for use of Civic Center on November 12, 2022, for an annual Founders Day dinner. Come on up. That's the bean dinner, Mike. I know. I know. We uh, set our date. We, uh, we set our founder's date. Oklahoma was uh, the campus date November the 16th, so we set our date, founder's date dinner about that time. And it's either before or after. And if we wait till after, then that's OU ball ballgame, and so that takes <laughs> a problem there. Or OU OSU ballgame. Okay. So anyway, the uh, 12th is when we determined we wanted to do it. And, and we, it's like the way we will be since we we are economic development for the city. We do bring bring in uh, revenue for the city and uh, with taxes and, and bringing folks to town. <coughs> uh, we'd like to have those fees <coughs> in the pockets. What are the times and you're wanting to use the civic center? Just all day Saturday. From like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m.? Uh, maybe uh, 8, 8 to 9. Your beans at the United Methodist Church on that same day. Have those for lunch, right? Yes. <laughs> Item 14 discuss an act to purchase material for beach house roof repairs from Wheeler Metal. So the union, Josh Craig, does a lot of stuff at the park, like more than I can even begin to tell you. And he's been working with the union groups like they did before where they came out and repaired the buildings and all that. He wants, he's recommended the 26 gauge, the second page, Wheeler Metals, 
for the 85, 79, 36 because it's a better material and it will work better out there. With columns and beams and other costs associated with it, he's met with Ron, I've talked to him a few times, he's talked to Donna, everybody with different things and different ideas. What we had come up with is if we would approve up to $15,000, that wouldn't stop them from working once they start, instead of having to wait to come back to the council. If the under layers are rotted, if there's different things that need to be done that they didn't proceed to occur. So, we can approve. This is the, uh, this is the bid for the material, yeah. and then. Anything after that, it's under $10,000. Correct. Without she doesn't like to do that. <laughs> she has that so we can't really lump that under this. We can approve uh, this, but we, we can this. also say that we don't have to just approve this. We can say this Not and up to $15,000 in materials. Because they're not charging us labor. It would just be materials. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. They have a lot of people coming to work. He said they have disc golf players that are have different trades that are willing to come help. And, and they got to learn to try. I mean, if they get hurt out there. They're well, they're all they're they're gonna gonna cover just like they were before. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion then that we purchase the material for the beach house. He's saying this 8579 is the big, is the better yes. quality stuff. For 8579 with... Uh, can go up to fifteen thousand for change orders. Further improvement. Further improvement. <laughs> so, can we use that out of our hotel motel tax? Money? Yes. Is that what, what we plan to do? Yes. Is that the plan is to use that money? Yes. I uh, second that. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item 15, I am not going to read all of this stuff. <laughs> don't blame you. <laughs> it is a lot. Discuss an act to close, vacate the following easements. I'm going to read parts of it, but it is all easement that need cleared up for quick trip. Uh, quick yes, trip. That's, that's correct. There's four separate easements that we're asking to be closed. Um, Two of them were done by condemnation. One was a grant and a deed, and the other one was an outright easement grant. We don't think any of them are in use right now and will be replaced <clears throat> to the extent they're necessary by new easements when the property is finally pledged. Okay. It's a one through four strip of land 50 feet in width, southwest, one fourth, southeast, one fourth of section seven. A strip of land 25 feet in width in the northwest quarter of the southeast quarter of northwest one one fourth and southeast one fourth. A part and parcel of the northwest one fourth southeast one fourth of section seven. A part of the northwest one quarter northwest one fourth of the southeast one quarter southeast one quarter of section seven. And that is there's this much. Okay. <laughs> Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Jennifer. Yes. Item 16 discuss and act on any new business. No new business. Item 17 adjourn. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> Henrietta Municipal Authority, regular meeting Tuesday, October 18th, 2022, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Roll call, please. Shannon. Michael. Here. Jana. Here. Christy. Jennifer. Here. Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda. A, financial reports for September 2022. B, minutes of meeting held in September 2022. C, claims for the month of September 2022. <clears throat> Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item two, discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRB ORF-08-0015-DW in the amount of $37,962 and 14 cents. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item three, discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRB 
item number three, discuss an act on approval to purchase a trailer mounted jetter for sewer department. This was already budgeted. He's got state bids. He wants the lower price one, which is the 77,000. He did get a $10,000 grant to, huh? from OMAG to go towards that. And Scott said the 77,000 one won't fit on the trailer that they already have. So it would better suit him. <clears throat> so that's from key equipment. Street to Nelson Avenue, Part A and Part B. So this is kind of a mess, but um, we're still working on this, and this is part of this is the line that feeds the yeah. towers and on and on top of it. So we're also wor working on trying to get a tower in the process of this, so then we have water available up there for you all. And Bill Myers is working all the, on all of it. He wants us to go ahead and accept this bid because he doesn't want to have to put it out for bid again because of price increases and what can happen and that's what's happened so far is the prices have increased every single time he has done one and he's fearful that that's going to continue to happen. He does have some alternatives for us to find some funds that are readily available right now, some ARPA funds and some different things to that nature. And he is working on that with the city to help us find those free funds, I should say. It's not ever free, of course, because we have matching funds, but with the cost of it, matching is not going to be a problem. But it's important that we get water fixed and that we get the water to where it needs to be. And that's been our focus for quite some time now. And Don and Ron and I have been working behind the scenes with Bill on many, many meetings to try to get the solution to what we can do to get the hill issues corrected. This is a start, but we still need a tower up there because the towers aren't currently working. My cat really wants to <laughs> 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 So the recommendations go with Oregon Construction. Are we looking at awarding the whole bid or and just doing these? We have to award the bid. A and, and then if we <clears throat> find better solution, find more funds, we will come back and do some type of amendment. But this, we've already sent it out for bids. And if we don't accept it, then they're no longer valid. Okay. So just the or Construction. Yes. Make a motion to approve the board construction. Is that what we're supposed to be doing, Ron? Yes. Okay. Yes, Just making sure that I didn't get it yes, messed up. We've had lots of meetings since, and I'm like, yes. I don't know which one's which now. Yes. Okay. Uh, second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Jana. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Okay. Item number five. Discuss and act on any new business. All these people here. No new business. Item six. Adjourn. So moved. Roll call for Michael. Yes. Dan. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Seriously, Ron, is there a camera on that tower? Yes. 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 Yes